Gale Brothers, Episode 84. From a sunny and cold Myrtle Beach, it's the Yale Brothers, episode 84. My name is Chris. And I'm Roger. And I'm on my phone because I don't have my gig bag. I mess myself up. Oh, boy. Where do you think it is? I could have left it at Lulu's. I'm going to call them. Well, they're pretty good at Uh, saving stuff for you. Yeah, after this session. So uh, my mic, you know, that stuff, uh, I was going to do the same thing. I was going to set up on the L8 like you have. I was all prepared. I looked over there and wah, wah, 
What did you need from What did you need from the gig bag? My mic. Don't you have uh, another mic there? I have all my mics in my bag right now. Oh, well, <laughs> you, you just got the uh, low end audio, but we just have to deal with it. That's all right. It's not That's too right. bad. So, Only a fool would leave a gig bag somewhere. That was a good song back in the day. It's yeah. probably still a good song. Yeah, I uh, I have to change it a little, but it's not bad. Right. Maybe switching uh, uh, first person, you know, switching the, that's not good, but first to third or whatever. It should be Who's consistent. On <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that was good. That was by, that was by us, Rogue Alley. And, that was a long time ago. Wes says uh, only a full harmony sound like uh, Gene and Paul. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> only a fool. I wonder why. So he, Yeah, I don't know. Do we like Kiss when we were growing up? We liked them. You still do. I love them. I mean, I still love them. I mean, I just, you know, I've heard it. I've heard it. No, but every now and then, like I heard Dress to Kill the other day, maybe last night, I think, or the night before yeah. at work. Cool. Yeah. Raw sound. Oh, good. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very good. I, mean, I think a lot of people make fun of them for the stage show and all that stuff. But if you heard it, it stands. Some That music stands alone. It's rock, man. I mean, come on. On its own. Yes. Exactly. And, uh, well, that's cool. I th- Those were good days, man. Yeah. Not so good that it's 19 degrees last night, and it's probably only still in the low 30s right now at Low 30s, it's probably 30. Yeah, 12.30 in the afternoon in Myrtle Beach. That doesn't sound terrific. No, but on Thursday, it'll be like 70. It's 36. Come down to sunny Myrtle Beach and freeze your nads off. Yes, freeze your nads off. That's exactly right. That's right. Uh, I have a hoodie on in the house. I have a t-shirt on. I had a thermal shirt on, but I took it off. It's too hot. But uh, Betsy got Betsy got me an awesome wool cap, wool cap, knit cap. I don't have oh, it on. Cool. Is it as cool as my fuck off? Ca- I mean, my uh, don't be a dick hat. <laughs> no, it's not that cool, man. Nothing's that cool. No, a fuck <laughs> off hat would be even better. Well, I'm, I wish I had one that said that, but I have one that says don't be a dick that Taylor gave me. Well, that's kind of awesome. cute. So just don't be a dick, man. Yeah, that's easy. Um, that's good advice. Yeah. Not that, but I, I would like to think it's for everyone else and not for me. Of course. How wrong you are. <laughs> Only a fool would think that. But put it inside out and let it let your brain read it. <laughs> All right. Step away from the acid flashback. Thank you very much, dude. The vat. Go around, go around the world through your eyes and go all around the world and come back. Open the door in the back of your head and come back in. Oh, there we go. No, that's kind of trippy, man. Around the globe, through your eyes, exit the front, and then come back up, around back up, and then into the back door, into your head from the back. Yeah, but can close you... Close the door, and then you'll be back in the driver's seat. But can you see sounds? Or... Yeah, that's what you said the other day. I think that's funny. Oh, yeah. It's funny. I guess you can. You can definitely see sounds <laughs> if you got waveforms. I think you can smell sounds, too. Yeah, I can definitely yeah. smell brown sounds. You're on a on a delay, bit of a de- uh, a delay, sensorial delay. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what you're going to get with this technology, man. Yeah, um, I hope this audio is all right. I, I miss my. Stop mic. worrying about it. That's enough talking about it. If the gig bag isn't there. I'm just uh, I'm just another thing lost in the fire of life. Oh yeah, uh, how much you looking at to replace it? I don't know. Not much. Yeah. Okay. Um, it was fun talking to Tom Arnold last, uh, couple weeks ago. Yeah, he was cool. That was very cool, man. That, that, that was really cool. I'm glad he joined us and he'll be doing his, uh, addiction and recovery lecture series kickoff this Thursday, which is really very cool. That he's coming down to Myrtle. And remember he mentioned Planet Hollywood. Yeah. Did you ever go into the Planet Hollywood in Myrtle Beach before they tore it down? Yeah, we had a birthday party for Katie there when she was little. What was it like? Not much. Everything I would expect it to be, kind of like... And less. <laughs> Everything I expected it to be and less. 
Planet Hollywood. Wasn't Planet Hollywood. It wasn't that great. No, no I didn't see that. I, I, I mean, I, I never went. I saw it there. Then the cool, the weirdest thing ever was to see it being torn down. That globe was kind of. Did you ever see those pictures? Oh, I didn't have to see the pictures. Oh, you saw the the real thing, the Hollywood. Yeah. I mean, the globe was. It was weird. Demolished. It was weird. There's a picture out there somewhere, but I'm sure. I, I, I never saw the point of going in. What well, was touristy, man? Yeah. What did they put? And also, the Hollywood Wax Museum is right. The quote unquote Hollywood Wax Museum is right around right around there too. Yep. And I didn't see the point of that since we walked by it and went into the original one all, all the time in the seventies. Why would you even go in there, man? I don't know. To see some kind of. Maybe to see, I don't know, who would like to see a, ma- a wax figure of? You? Madame Tussaud. <laughs> the oh. mummies in the British Museum. I'd like to see too. the likeness of Blavatsky. Madame Blavatsky. Now, forgive my ignorance, but I don't know who that is. Uh, I forgot the movement. She, had, she was a spirit, you know, like a spiritual something, man. A spiritual. Theist. Oh, I don't know. I'm. I'm getting. I'm. I'm getting this. I'm taking this off. No, a spiritual something. Well, that's pretty cool. We have Google, <laughs> man. But she's a she's spiritual, like a spiritual leader a, of some sort. Yeah. No, but I'm done with the lady. I just like the way that sounds. A spiritual something. <laughs> uh, oh, Madame Blavatsky. Blavatsky. Put her in this she's a, she was the founder of Theosophy. Helena, Helena Petrovna Blavatsky, often known as Madame Blavatsky, was a Russian and American mystic and author who co-founded the Theosophical Society in 1875. She gained an international following as the leading theoretician of theosophy. She had lots of books out and things. Anyway. So it's like a marriage of uh, theology and philosophy. I that probably, was probably, man. Uh, she kind of looks like Joe Mahar. That's funny. I'm going to talk about Joe Mahar in a minute on what? this. That's funny, but she have you ever like so all, all the Hollywood stuff and all that? I drive Brendan nuts when I see exteriors on TV shows. I'm like, oh, 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 look, look, we grew up just a block away from there. But then you got to realize, I have to understand that she has no connection to any of that. She doesn't. I mean, it's like someone showing us. Oh, oh, look, look at this sh- street in Chicago. I grew, I grew up just around the corner from there. I know it's ridiculous, but I do get a little, I get a little excited when I see. It. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> it's cool. But don't you think to us that Hollywood, like a conglomeration of memories, people, places, like incidents, an, like anybody else? It's it's not the physical place anymore no it's different now man yeah and i mean do you still i dream of it sometimes i always do i'm always walking around somewhere yeah but in the landscape different it's like our our subconscious is drawing from some sort of like giving a command to some cosmic ai yeah but it it don't yo so but it, it can't be cosmic ai it's cosmic eye cosmic intelligence putting the pictures and memories together for it Ooh. And making a completely different dreamscape. I know, man. I mean, you think you've been there, but you haven't. But you know exactly. where. But you know where you're going. And I know who's going with me. I know who I love, but the deer knows who I'll marry. Uh, what's that? Uh, I see nuggets of golden shoes of bright clean green leather. I don't know. It was the um, Golden Golden Harmony Singers at uh, LACC. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> the LACC was a trip. Wes Abbott. I remember him. You know, well, the, the Golden Harmony Singers, the choir director, teacher. He was a trip. LACC was a trip. I hung. Out, I hit a lot in the um, in the piano practice rooms. Yeah, I. I went had a cinema class, documentary class, logic, philosophy. Doctor Richards was the best teacher I ever had. Oh yeah, yeah. The, um, it, it was, was cool. cool. It was, it was, whatever it was, we picked up there, it was okay. 
Yeah, I mean, for as long as I stayed, what, a semester and a half, two semesters? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I fucked around for two semesters. Me too, man. Too. Yep. I remember Frau Dr. Ulrich. I remember t- Dr. Tom Stemple, the the, the uh, cinema teacher or documentary te- or, you know, yeah. Yeah. Didn't you walk around? Didn't the, didn't you have a little camera on loan in a case and you walked around trying to yeah. film shit? Yeah, that was my other cinema class. I was supposed to be making a movie. Did you ever make one? Because I didn't see it. Oh, uh, just a little short. It was it was not that good, man. <laughs> <laughs> just it was a documentary, just little uh, landscapes and things. I don't know. Did you think you were Jacques Boonwell? I think I thought it was an auteur. <laughs> I, I suck, hear you, man. man. That's cool, man. I got a camera in a case. I could. I don't have to. If I quit school, I could keep it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. Right. They'll never ask me for it again or uh, prosecute me. No, of course not. Of course right. not, man. <laughs> I, was most, cool. I was mostly I stoned. Really? Yeah. Oh, that I didn't realize you went out for that sort of thing. <laughs> Uh, How's my audio? Your audio doesn't matter, man. I'm not even w- looking at you. It matters more than my video. No, it. Do- oh, audio. Excuse me. Oh no, <laughs> you said video audio. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, maybe you do still stay stoned, um, dude. Stop. I'd like to visit the old Magic Hotel again. Yeah, the ma- now it's called the Magic Castle Hotel. They've done it up great. They seem to be doing a great job with it. Um. I- I'm wondering if maybe they're continuing the vibe that dad started there. I don't know. I kind of don't want to go. I kind of want to walk in there and see what's going on. Yeah, maybe. And maybe they might have improved on his skin of the teeth hotel management style. I'm sure that's been <laughs> a little more streamlined, but it couldn't possibly <laughs> yeah, be oh as cool. God. Couldn't possibly be as cool, man. I'm sure it's couldn't very cool, but cool. yeah, it's, it's cool, but it's not dad cool. Yeah. They wouldn't let anyone stay in his if the hotel was booked up by accident somehow some by something that i don't think anyone's going to offer their their apartment to someone yeah. in another building like yeah. that dude yeah that's crazy man his own apartment yeah <laughs> um that's the above and beyond yeah but um don't you remember that skin of the t shit like maybe a family would come up would arrive and we're like who the hell we didn't expect you or people coming from germany or the uk we yeah. didn't know about them getting there and they were all not usually all nice they never really got mad they were sweet to us for the most Man, part i hated that it was so stressful i know Dude. i know it and and we couldn't call dad dad wasn't there there were no cell phones we didn't know where the hell he was no out and about somewhere well i got called in when i was in the middle of doing mushrooms <laughs> You did. I had to go work, and wouldn't you know something like that happened? Of course, it's whenever you, you know you got to be ready. I was. I, I handled it perfectly. That's 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 funny. Hello, how are you? <laughs> oh, it was <laughs> weird, man. Watching their mouths move and think of their m- m- mouth skeletal system and face while they're talking to you, and you're like, ah, oh, hi. Just kind of part of the Hello. deal, man. Let's get you checked in. Uh, <laughs> oh man as i was walking up one of the one of our friends i forgot his name jack i think he had a balcony up in front i was walking from our apartment across he asked me if i wanted a beer i said yeah sure man ha <laughs> and he was he kind of put it he hung it over the balcony like joking i said no no i'll take it and i caught yeah. it i caught it and he was laughing his ass off man was that that tweaker dude? Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember them. I remember them, man. Yeah, they yeah. had a. They had when when they left, they had a framed picture of a syringe being squirted, like someone painted it, like comic book style. Oh. Ooh, that's something to brag about. That's a little weird. Um, that's like bragging that, about. Oh, I got so drunk. I I had so and so many beers, or so many shots, or you know what I mean. Aren't I a champion? <laughs> Yeah, man, breakfast of champions, man. Yeah. Dad and Roger were pretty good about keeping, quote, unquote, shady characters out, but not always. No, not the always. Got in there. The fake Dusty Springfield. How did, no, no, that wasn't even, he. she never said she was Dusty Springfield. Dad put, she just, 
made all that up in his mind. She was Dusty Williams, Hank Jr.'s ex-wife or something. Is that supposed to, was that true, you think? I think so, yeah. I think so. Oh, so he thought he made up, he conflated Dusty Williams with Dusty Springfield. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I remember Les McEwen going, that's not Dusty Springfield. No, that's funny, man. What about that old pillhead couple? One was a doctor and his wife that was his nurse or something. And they, yeah, they they were to us, to me, they were really old. Yeah. It was pillheads. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the tweakers in the late seventies and early eighties there. Oh yeah. Ran- Black Randy and Metro Squad. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. That guy <laughs> was weird, man. Dude, he was so he was so high most of the so many times that he didn't have any more liquid in his mouth and the little Ugh. white bubbles on the side. Man, I got a hold of some really good crystal. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, He's man. dead. But- Drink some water, bro. Yeah, yeah. And brush your teeth, maybe. And stop walking around in circles looking, examining some pebble that, you know. Come on, dude. Want to smoke a J-ski? Is that the same guy? No, they, yeah. It's the same guy? I remember that album we had. I bet it was shit. We had that album. Black Randy and Metro Squad. Well, I bet you could find it. Maybe. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not looking for it. Yeah. Hey, I want to do something like speed dating with you here, but you know, not speed, speed dating? dating me and you, but you, right. I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to see, see what you mostly remember about these people. I'm going to mention to you. Oh boy. Have your wits about you. Obviously I'm going to, I'm going to, sh- I'm going to shout them out. But before I do th- this would be too much. Like if we talked about Richard Hurd, We'd talk about Erica, our friend Erica, yeah. and the little band we were in. We tried to start a, like, we, they, her, Erica and Jennifer Damon, Stuart Damon's daughter, and me and you just played music and sang and stuff when we had a little duo to get in, in one of the rooms. Yeah. We were just messing around, man, having fun. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, Ann B. Davis. She gave me a good tip. <laughs> she, she, she gave me, really? And I remember she was really nice Christian lady, man. Yeah. She was? She was super nice. Okay, this is what I mean. It's like speed dating. Bobby Morse. Pot hit. <laughs> Before that he was an alcoholic. <laughs> I loved Bobby but, and his family, actually. Yeah, we went to go fly kites with his daughter. Yeah, his once. daughters. I remember his daughters. Yeah, he was always nice. But I think someone gave him an ultimatum that he had to stop drinking, so he switched to pot. Well, it's not a bad switch. <laughs> Daniel Stern. I don't remember much about him when he was doing Breaking Away there, or was it something like that? Yeah, um, I don't remember much about him, but I remember him. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, Kind of quiet. Uh, we didn't see Drunk Rock Hudson at the hotel. Yes, did we? we did. Did I see him? Did I, he get maybe, carried out? Yeah, he got. Well, maybe you weren't there, but yeah, we had to guide him out. Was it the cast party for like on the twentieth century or something? I'm not. I'm not sure which which party it was, but uh, Yule Brenner was there too, so I have no idea. But they carried Rock out, did they? Yeah, yeah. They had to pour him into the back seat of somebody's car. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That's big parties. Uh, yeah, that that was great for that stuff. How about Joe Mahar? You mentioned him before. Oh, friend- I remember we became friends with him, but I remember once he walked in with this other real tall dude. It was Chevy Chase. Oh, I don't I wasn't there for that, but I love Joe Mahar, man. He was a he was awesome and he really loved dad and us. He he did, and I, I he he asked me to go down walk down to the Chinese theater and watch uh go see a movie. He took me to go see the natural. Oh yeah. Redford. Oh yeah. It was walk down the stroll down the block. Yeah, he and uh huh? he was a nice guy. <laughs> nice dude. Nice dude. Yeah, very nice. Dad's in fact dad's infatuation with Kim Stanley when she stayed. Oh, yeah, was she was doing the the right stuff. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh she's nice. But dad dad used to slip away. He didn't even drink. 
but he got hammered on wine with her and did like Noel Coward skits. Oh yeah, yeah, they know? were they became good friends. Yeah, he also yeah. Tom Berenger was a good friend also of Dad's. Oh yeah, he yeah yeah there. yeah yeah. That they were but Kim and Dad, Kim Stanley and Dad were doing something from some something called Red Peppers, a little some from one of Noel Coward's reviews. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I remember. I remember when he used to go have an, spend the afternoon over there. Has anybody seen our ship, the HMS Peculiar? Is that him too? That's part of the Red Peppers. How about Frank and Fonte from Blondie? Oh yeah, I was sitting in the office, and uh, this guy walks up. He goes, "Man, do you have any vacancies?" And I'm thinking, "This guy, I know this guy." I said, "That's Frank and Fonte." <laughs> and then it turns out he was Frank and Fonte, and we became quite friendly. I used to see, yeah. him, see him around town after that every now and then. I'd drive by, hey, Frank, what's up? Uh, but he jammed with us in the jam room once. Yeah. And one of us geniuses brought up um, Debbie Harry. Yeah. And he goes, that's Chris's girl. <laughs> so? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, what are we, 17 years old? Yeah, he like 16, 17 years old. We're going to bring up Debbie Harry. Yeah, he he's a, he was a rock guy. He wasn't too big on the the disco-ish stuff that they were doing. No, he's totally rock guy. He likes stuff like and one he, one way or another, hanging on the telephone, all that kind of stuff. He's a friend of mine on Facebook. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's cool. <laughs> that's cool, man. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, I remember I was kind of a douche to Peter Gallagher. I saw him standing in the lobby. It was past the time the door was supposed oh. to be locked. Well, well, maybe he deserved it. No, he was just standing there minding his own business with a bunch of other people partying kind of in the front, the lobby part yeah. of the, where the front <laughs> desk is. So I indignantly took out my key and was going to start locking it. He goes, oh, don't do that. Oh, that's funny. Why were you doing that? I don't know. I was a little dick for some reason yeah, we were we remember when we were extras in the idol maker yeah yeah that was after that i think i don't know no i think him me go, wanting to lock the door was after that <laughs> what the hell would it, what would it benefit me and then you, you brought up les McEwen too basically yeah. rollers the jumpsuits oh yeah jeez and Let's bring up Quentin Crisp from the Naked Civil Servant. He from was that that what's his name? Who played him? John Hurt, right? Yeah, Hurt. John Hurt. 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 John Hurt, right? <laughs> what? Yeah, I think so. He like was Quentin. Crisp. He had interesting colored hair, man, like blue hair, like an old lady. Yeah, of course. Well, he was. He was an old so, lady. I mean, so he would answer his phone like this. Oh yes, I know. I know. I know. He was nice enough, though. Yeah, perfect. We, we went somewhere uh, and I, saw that movie and saw him talk or something, didn't we, with David? Yeah, the West, it was the Westwood Playhouse. Oh, yeah. Didn't we have to go through some kind of shop to go get through it? I, yeah, some sort of boutique. You go through it, and in, at that time, you go into the little auditorium or whatever it was. Yeah, that was but his big thing is you have to you have to have a lifestyle. Oh, yeah. So even if you have to invent one. So oh, he's that's, a, that makes sense. Precursor then, of David Bowie somehow. Oh yeah. And then you have Jeff Daniels who gave you his Rolling Stone subscription. Oh yeah. He was always nice to me, man. <laughs> yeah. Always cool. That guy had you some had, calves like, on him, man. Woo. He used to he? walk up the stairs after running. I said, man, those massive bro. Calves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause he was runner, a runner, man, you know, here you I am with, it. You should see my calves. Here I am with bird legs. Yeah, me too, man. I don't get it. No. What can you well, do? I want to start exercising more. I've been kind of dropping the ball this year so far. Me too. I haven't really done anything yet. But <clears throat> I feel like I have to do something while I can to get on the right track here. Go on a cleanse. It's Go to rehab. <laughs> Go to somewhere, man. Yeah. Uh, no, I just gonna. I would like to have a cleanse and eat better. Oh yeah, get get you some colon blow. 
What on earth? That's a SNL product. It is. <laughs> yeah. No, thanks. I'll have to, I'm have to find the link to that. Uh, <laughs> what? But, co- cocaine administered rectally? Oh, yeah. Booty bomb. No, <laughs> thanks, bro. No, that I'm I'm not that sort. I'm not of of that booty bump ilk. Okay. Oh my god. I'm straight edge. I'm straight edge, man. I'm straight, straight edge. edge. No, actually, you're straight edge. I'm not. I'm kind of dull edged. I don't know if I'm straight edge. I just don't drink or do drugs. No, that's straight edge. I am serrated edge. I do and I don't. <laughs> Up and down. Will you? Will you or won't you? Dewey or don't you? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm easy, yeah. man. Easy like a... It's, is it Sunday morning? No, Sunday. you're easy like a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, Sunday afternoon. So, yeah, I mean, that's enough names for now, man. Or do you have no, more? I just wanted to speed date, speed name, speed dating name dropping. <laughs> okay, but well, we, we'll keep this that bit for other, other episodes. We will. Then we'll just... Next time, I'll, we'll just think of one, and I'll name the one as a surprise and see what you know. Okay, all right. Uh, let's not repeat ourselves like from other episodes, though. Why not? Roger Yale, what do you know? Hey. Douche. What do I know about Roger? Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. It's This this show is not long enough, dude. Ah. Genius, right. that boy. He's so profound. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. That lady... Oprah. <laughs> oh my Opa, God. Opa. Oh, I would never think that. The belly way. dancer. Can you? Yeah, you had a crush on her. Well, she yeah, probably forty years old, and you were like eighteen. I, I did have a crush on her. Could you help? Could you put this jewel in my belly button, please? Okay, I'll did help you. you. Did you? Did you do that? Yeah, I did it for. Her. And then she wondered why you had a crush on her. <laughs> I don't think she knew. I think she must yes. know. I took her to dinner once. Yes, yeah, she did know because Tom Solardi had her on the phone and told her. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. And <laughs> that boy is so, you, you knew it because that boy is so profound. So she thought of you as like a sweet little innocent. Like some kind of, some kind of, uh, some kind of little Buddha or something, man. Beat poet. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The, the beat hey there, there's the beat poets that's a good name but it doesn't mean what you think it means no <laughs> it doesn't it really does not that's hilarious well i just wanted to check in and you know i'm sorry i'm d- doing this with the audio would like you this, stop apologizing could... for the audio man I'm sorry I, I if i were you <laughs> take a look at your video dude your mug. I don't have to. I don't, I've been looking at half of you, from your nose up to your forehead and your hair. And, uh, because I'm going to get closer to the mic on this well, That's thing. a good idea. That's what I was almost going to ask Tom to do. I didn't want to bug yeah. him. But, uh, it, I, saw him doing some other, I saw him doing some other video, some Zoom thing, and sometimes he got close, like, go closer. Yeah. Yeah. It, but, it worked. But this sounded all right, and this sounds fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So you go yeah, in, yeah. You, know, you have to go to work. Yes. Yeah, there's not much going on there, man. We're in the slow time here in Myrtle Beach. Yeah, but it's 30 degrees outside. I know. Wear your, your long undies, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, you, are you reading anything? I'm, I'm in the middle of Bernie Taupin's book, Scattershot. Any good? I love it. It's not, it's not linear, but it's the way... It, it, it's scattershot. Much it's scattershot. No wonder. Yeah. He's talking about his experiences, and if they tie in with Elton's, fine. If he's not, you know, it's not all Elton centric, which is good because if it wasn't for Bernie, there would be no Elton. No, that's true. It. That's true. That's true. Well, I finished up the Bruce Springsteen book finally. It was. It took me a while, but that was really good. I loved it. I loved it. The auto. The autobiography. Uh, Do you read five pages a day or something? No, I just go rant I, I, i've had a lot of breaks and just read a little and then forget about it but no now i'm still now i finally started in earnest in this rc Sproul book that i told you i was reading the holiness of god trying to describe holiness is is not easy man but it's really good book and i can't wait to start the sound pictures the george martin book that you gave me for christmas i'm looking at it right now 
Oh, that makes me feel good. Oh, hey, I just bought a bag of books at the Horry County Memorial Library over here. Oh, yeah. A bag of books. Book sale, friends of the library, five bucks. Anything good? Well, there, there's a, I, they're sitting in there. I mean, I, uh, not as good as I wanted them to, but for five bucks, I'll see what's going on. I just, I just, I aim for that's what might interest me, and boom. Yep. Well, I'm still another thing in the queue. I have is green lights by McConaughey. Oh. I m- might have told you oh. about it. Oh yeah, watch out for them. Why? <laughs> Why? I'm just kidding. I like him. I liked him on uh, um, Ed Milet thing. Oh, no. He's Ed great. Yeah. yeah. He's super. I like it. Yeah, super cool. Right. I, I, want, um, I, want, I want Rain Wilson's Soul Boom. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't mind reading that. That's that's cool, man. He's Baha'i. Is he? He be, yeah. He be high? Yeah. He stays Baha'i. <laughs> no, it's, I'm not Baha'i. I'm Baha'i. <laughs> <laughs> and not the no you you have no you misunderstood i'm not baha'i i'm bihai i be high baha'i sexual but well, hey i was framed i was framed man i was framed <laughs> um and we got lulu's coming up i hope my gig bag's there yeah and oh man i had to retire my old uh magic case i know it, 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 a lot of time obsessing about the new case you bought i measured i found, i got a nice one i just got to put stickers on it it's fairly inexpensive it looks like a like a big camera case uh padded and all that but it's the same specs inside and it's super cool <laughs> it's man just saw it's it looks it more professional but uh, it doesn't have the character now i ought to get character on this one throw it down the stairs to, I'll, I'll leave it i'll leave it at lulu's or something yeah i want to festoon it with stickers okay festoon um oh boy i should i want to shout out our friend adam adam holt he had him on ep, we had him on episode yep. 82 My adam man. is a good friend but he started we start we got to know him when he was booking us for lulu's um i want to put a shout out he's been battling metastatic stage four rectal cancer for yep. quite some time and he's starting some clin- clinical trials yep i um, i just found that out uh, it's i my heart goes out to him man he didn't mention um, it to us at, on the show no um but his medical insurance has got most of the finances covered for Thank the goodness. clinical trial trip to where he's going but he does need help with travel lodging bills and his family family for travel lodging bills himself etc i'm gonna put a gofundme link yeah it'd that's... be great if anyone listening can uh help him out Yes, that yeah, we we'll definitely put a link on there for our yes. our main man Adam. You got this, brother. You do, Adam. Uh, our, he's one of the nicest dudes. Yep, serious, totally t- musical genius, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, and he's he's uh his joy when he wants to show you guitars, man. It's like look at this oh, one. Look, don't I touch just, it. <laughs> no. I just, I was just hiding and watching while you guys were talking about that oh, stuff. Oh, look at it. I can hear it, but it's not playing. Don't touch. Don't can don't I touch, touch it? it? No, 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 <laughs> no. Don't touch it. Either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, let's let's get out of here. All right, man. I'm going to call Lulu's. Good luck. Out about that. Give us an update on the next show. Oh yes, every, yes, we're all dying to find out. Well, dude, all right, love I you, love you too. I got one. okay. I have mics and extra mic cords. So for now, if you need it, cool. Can I borrow a patch cord? A patch cord, I might be able to come up with for you, for a, a reasonable, reasonable, uh, reasonable deal. I'll give you a good deal. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, it's around. I have a feeling that everything's going to be okay. It will be. It will be. Care less. Unless we took off and it was right next to the car. Well, it's possible, dude. It really is. It really is. Accidents will happen. Yeah. So. If only hit and run. I don't want to hear it because I know what you've done. All All right, let's get out of here. All right, this is the Yale Brothers Podcast, episode 84. I'm Chris. And I'm Roger. You can get in touch with us at yalebrothers at gmail.com. We're on Facebook. Rock and roll.